what we're looking at here is Aussie Explorer as it would appear on your Android tablet in its default uh, settings uh, as it's loaded. Now you can change the look of the the screen, not not uh, not the maps. We're not talking about changing maps, but the options, the number of buttons, the way they're um, they look, the position that they're in. You could have this whole uh, left hand. Uh, side menu and on the bottom, on the top, down over on the right. You can change colours. You could get rid of some of the things on the screen if you found you weren't using this map scale, for instance. Then we can delete it altogether. Now, Aussie does come with a few different options uh, for you to to use and try. And the way to get to them is by clicking the uh, main menu button underneath. This is the off button to turn it off. This one here, the main menu. Bring up operation menu general settings and they're called page files Aussie calls them page files they're a skin if you want to call them that I always use the landscape version it just suits the way my tablet sits in the car uh, landscape and portrait obviously um, sideways or up and down we'll click on the landscape and scroll down and you can see the one that we're using actually I'll go back and it tells me that the one I'm using at the moment is the landscape large default .pa1 .pa1 being the file extension for all the uh, page files so if I click on it again you can see they're all .pa1 of some sort there's a large simple the large default the is this is the one we're using at the moment then there's a v1 so if we click on that and have a look at it it says page file has been loaded and we click finish it'll look completely different to what it looked before. So they've changed the colour, they've changed the number of um, uh, icons on the sidebar, they've got the main menu down the bottom down here, um, they've taken off uh, a lot of the text on the screen so you get a lot more map. Um, but they've put on some buttons, there's the 3D button if you want to use that and this is the uh, the um, course up or, or north up button that you can use, same as your GPS in your car. Uh, and here you've got your screen in and out res um, view so view in and view out zoom in and zoom out without having the writing there again taking up space it depends on um, you know what you want on it there's a lot of, a lot of options that you can use so if we use the uh, main menu button to get back to where we were uh, I'll show you one more if you go into the operation again general and load page file landscape. I used, I made one up for the club. Uh, I've used version three this time. I, you can play around with them. Have lots of different versions. I'm still working with this one. Um, it's very similar to the uh, initial default screen, except I changed the off button just to our club logo, just for fun, because I could. Don't know why. Um, you can see these boxes up the top that haven't got anything in them. That's where my GPS speed, um, elevation and heading would go once I've uh, got some um, GPS satellites hooked up to the tablet, which of course at the moment I can't because it's sitting inside on the desktop with me. Um, one thing I did like, and I picked up the idea from the guys at the Mitzi Club in WA, and thank you guys, um, I put the odometer on this page and that can be turned on and off with this uh, pause and arrow button here. It can be reset back to zero over here and it'll give me the uh, odometer reading as we're going along. Very, very handy and a good option. Uh, I've also changed the number of um, uh, available pages. So this button here, which normally gives you a whole list of about seven or eight or ten different options I've cut it down to the four that I use mainly so I don't need to worry about um, you know all these ones on here that I don't tend to look at but again it's customable customizable um, to your own needs and to whatever you use the uh, the question is uh, how do you do it so if we turn this off now I use my off button we want to quit yes we do and I'll show you exactly how you can do that right now to enable you to change the skins on the Aussie Explorer Android version you'll need a little program which is available on the Aussie Explorer website we're on the Aussie Explorer homepage here right now and if over on the left hand side you click Aussie Explorer Android it'll take you to a page and just down below the main description you'll see that there's a little link 
and it says download the Aussie Explorer screen designer which is down here it's under the two main downloads for the versions download Aussie Explorer Android screen designer and if you click that you'll download this little program which will start up now so once you've downloaded the uh, screen designer program and run it you'll come up with the screen similar to this uh, it's got two boxes the one on the left hand side is showing you the skin as how it will look on your tablet and the one on the right is the one that you use to configure all the options now let's start by over on the right hand box file load the one I've got there at the moment actually I'll just cancel that and show you the one if you look up the top is the large the landscape large default dot PA1 the, the basic one that comes up when you load Aussie into your Android tablet and the one that we started with uh, just previously if we load the uh, version 1 the other one that we looked at which is here the V1 and hit open and that's the second of those screens that I showed you so what we can do with this one or any of them you click on this uh, little button here and over on the right hand side it says that's the map zoom in button obviously and you can actually move it if I hold the mouse button down and move it across to the left hand side because I don't want it over there it's there then I click on the map zoom out button and it's telling me that's what it is and it's in this list here this is a list of all the buttons and options that are in this screen at the minute so if I move that across with it and put it underneath can do that and let's say the 3D button I wanted to get rid of because I never really use it I highlight it and up here on the uh, top of the box delete the box that's gone let's say I don't also want the north arrow course up on off option again it's highlighted there you can see the little black marks around it and I'll delete it now I could save that you could now save that as if you hit save and it can be landscape whatever you want we'll call it V2 test and it's saved so now I can't uh, you know muck it up if I keep going um, so you can actually then all these buttons here as well you can click on this one here that's the next more detailed map so before on the default one they these were on the screen if you remember over here on the left hand side well they've put them in the column over there and that's up and down that's your waypoint drop button again create a waypoint and it's also in this list here uh, so you can t move these out of this menu and you can see it's got the background the same as this it's a matter of creating backgrounds for them as well so the buttons look like they're basically just sitting there without um, a box around them but they're actually in a square box but it's just that they've matched the background um, the main one if you click on the middle it'll highlight the map okay you can see that there and the maps in the um, in the right hand column now if I delete that the map's gone completely so I've just left with the buttons so I could work around and play with these buttons I can hold on to this and increase the background that's actually a background box that I'm moving around you can see if I move that background box away you can see all the buttons they've just lined them up here with the same color as the background then they move the background in behind it like that and then just decrease the size of it and then it looks like it's all in a nice column it's very smart so to create a new box you just go to the new box option and then you drop down the menu as to which box you want to add and we'll call it map there it is there it's popped up at the bottom drag it in here just make it a bit bigger it always comes up quite small like that and bring it over to the side now you can see these buttons are actually behind it now moving it around and what we need to do is move it to the back
and the way to move it to the back, you can see that it's because we brought it in last, it's now on the bottom of this list on the right hand side, and there's some arrows up here. Now I'll move this map bar back to the top so it's the main one, and you'll notice on the left hand screen as we go up the list, the buttons that were underneath it will start to appear. There they are there. So now it's back on the top and these buttons are now back where they were before. So say so they were there, they were behind it, so it depends on where you are in the list here um, as far as what sort of box goes over the top of any other box. Now uh, I'll show you another one that I made. Um, we have changed the so we want to load a new file. Yes we haven't saved it, we don't need to save that one. Um, I made one for the uh, for the club I'm still mucking around with it. It's got instead of the off button up the top, I just changed that to uh, our club logo just for fun. It still actually as, as a off button, so if you press that, it will turn it off. What I like about this, um, and this is probably what I use most, is the um, odometer down the bottom right hand corner. Uh, that was just a matter of adding a new box. So again, on this one, if I went up to the new box option, and I want to create a, uh, and it's, let's say it's uh, the odometer, and we've got to scroll down till we find, there's so many options, it's really, there it is there, odometer 1, now you've got reset, you've got odometer 2, and you've got odometer 3, so there's several of them, we'll call it odometer 3, we'll put another one in. And it's come up, let's see it up the top right hand side there. So we'll put that and I'll just increase the size of it a bit. And there it is. So I could move that to wherever I like. And then you can, this uh, on off button, you can see down here start stop odometer one. Well, there's another option which would be start stop odometer three. And I'd put that up here next to it like that and that would start that one. So you've got different odometers, you could have one going for your whole trip which might be over six weeks and you have one going for a week or one going for a day, uh, whatever you like. So if I click on that and delete it, just delete box, that's gone. So you can add so many things uh, when you hit on the, the new button, the new box uh, button. Um, it's really a matter of playing around and seeing what you like. Uh, this button here that I changed the um, on off to, if I click on that you'll see it's quit Aussie Explorer. So nothing's changed, the button still will actually turn the program off. What I did change was down here, add standard symbol. Um, so if I click on that it comes up with a list and this symbols uh, folder with all these options in it is actually in the Aussie Explorer directory. And all I did was create a, uh, a BMP file, which is what all these are. So, see there's a frown one there. Now you could, that, that could be your off, so you could, okay, change it. Now I'd have to resize it, but you can see what it's done to the button up the top. It's just picked a different symbol. Um, for the size of that button, um, I've just made that box a little bit bigger than um, standard, just because the logo would be a bit better. Um, there's the logo, a couple of them that I've made. There it is there in its small version. Open it up and we're back to there. So again, I would just hit save and I can save that as uh, whatever I want to call it, version 4. And it's a matter of transferring those uh, to the tablet. And that's quite easy to do. Uh, you just go to your uh, file explorer. They're under, if I bring that up, I'll try and bring that up and see if you can see the whole screen. they would be under C Drive, uh, Aussie Explorer, and this is in your desktop version obviously. Um, and I've got skins for Android in here. Okay, so this is where I, this is where you would save uh, whatever um, skin you want. And that um, skin with the odometer or the idea with the odometer came from the guys over in WA the Mitchie club over there uh, posted something on the um, 
Pajero Forum and, and showed us that, and I thought that's a really good idea, and it's so handy to have that little odometer. To, so thank you to the guys in WA for that idea, and I've just incorporated it into one and added a few things. I would probably take these out. I tend not to use the map scale very often, so if I want to click on that um, little up button and delete that, then I'll click on the down one and delete that. And I click on the words, the map scale words, so it's sort of, there are just text files that you can put in, again, so you can see over here on the right hand side, it's, they're just text boxes, uh, you can put whatever um, text you want in there, you can change the font size, you can have the text to display like, you know, blah 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 blah, whatever you want to call it, and it, you can see it's coming up here, you can change the, um, the size of the font, um, the size of the box, just by dragging it like that, and you can change the, the colors and all sorts of things so it's really a matter of just fooling around and getting it how you want it and we'll delete that the other thing I actually will show you I mentioned that um, this one here this uh, button here shows the the uh, page menu now up on the right uh, hand side here you've got previous and next this is however many pages that I've got in this particular skin I've only got four uh, this is the uh, nearest waypoint list page that I use and the way to get to them is by This little button down the bottom left hand side and it just says display next page It's just one of the option buttons that you can bring in um, The arrow and everything's already there. It's just a matter of adding new box Going down to the list finding display next page and it'll come up in the corner here and dragging it to wherever you want now I've got four pages. That's page two. You can see page three it's got three odometers in it there are uh, options for for those and the last page I have is just the uh, position if I ever need to know exactly where I am right now um, and then it goes page five and page six now these are blank let me show you something here because I only want the four pages and that's all it will show in the configuration tab up here it's got here the um, number of pages maximum at the moment it's showing 10 that's why I'm getting those blank pages when I scroll through so if I change that back to 4 then go back to page designer and go next it's page 1 page 2 page 3 page 4 and now instead of going to a blank page 5 it's going back to page 1 because I've changed the number of pages in this particular skin and it's my landscape idlers version 3 I'll probably save that now just to get rid of those pages and that map, um, you know, I find it's just as easy to change maps by either going to the main menu page and looking for maps at the location or just opening up the folder and uploading a map myself. I, I don't often use that button. Um, anyway, I'm going to save it. And I might call it version 4 just for the heck of it in case I want to get back to the other one. So I've changed it to that. Hit save and away we go. So again, it's just a matter of going to that file um, dragging that a copy of that across to your um, Aussie tablet and that's easily done if I can bring up the uh, there we go bring up the box the right box and you should be able to see that so it's under as I said before Aussie Explorer it's under your normal C drive um, get into Aussie Explorer skins so if I wanted to take that uh, version 4 that we've just created which is this one here I'd just highlight it I'd right click I'd go copy I'll now go over to my Galaxy tablet now they're not on the card they're stored in Aussie under the normal directory so I go to the tablet Aussie Explorer and you'll find that the skins are basically in the main directory see you can see the landscape large and all these other skins that are in here so they're not in a separate folder they're amongst all the other sort of operational files so if I just hit paste now then that skin there it is there should have appeared now that would be available to me um, by going to the uh, operation menu general settings and then loading that skin and that's how you do it Hope that's been helpful.